Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Cute Chibi Charms. You may recognize me from my other channel, Chibi Nails Design. Thank you for tuning in and let's get started on today's charm. I'm grabbing two colors and I'm mixing them together to get the color that I want. Once you're done, roll out your clay to get a cylinder shape. Then gradually shape the clay into a rectangle while shaping out the sides as well. Then we're going to cut the ends just to make it look more cleaner on the side. Now we're going to shape the sides to be a little bit rounder. On the bottom half of your clay charm, we're going to cut a small piece off so it could be the B button in the back. Make sure you take your time to do this carefully because you can instantly ruin the clay. Let's grab some white clay and we're going to shape it into a teardrop while flattening the bottom which will be the B button in the back of our Wiimote. We're going to take our teardrop and place it on the back of the remote while shaping it carefully to look more like a button while blending the corner so it could stick down to the other clay. We're going to grab some yellow clay to make a D-pad while measuring the sides. We're going to roll out two pieces of yellow and then cut one in half and try to get that perfect T-shape. Once you're done with that, place it on your remote and blend them together. We're going to grab four pieces of clay, one white one and three hot pink ones and roll them into a ball and then flatten them down for the button. We're going to make a tiny indentation for the button to fit in better so it looks more realistic and we're going to do this to all the buttons. Grab some blue clay and do the same. We're going to grab a pin, a needle or a toothpick to make holes for the speaker and for the player assignment in the bottom of the remote. Now. With the same tool that we used before, we're going to carve out the bottom half of the remote for the analog remote. Once we're done carving, we're going to grab another tool just to flatten out the inside and smooth it out. Grab a dotting tool to make a little hole for the reset button in the back. Then grab a pin or anything sharp just to make the guidelines for the back part where the batteries go into the remote. We're going to carve a little rectangle in the bottom and then smooth it out. Now let's carve the letter B to the back of the remote. Now that we're almost done, we're going to grab our pin and secure it safely before we bake it. Next, bake it according to the instructions in your clay package. Now we're going to grab some white acrylic paint and add the details to the rest of our remote. Take your time adding the details to make sure you don't mess up. Now grab some pink paint and add the letter A and then flip it over and add the letter B for the remote details. We're going to use the same paint to outline the battery cartridge holder of the remote. When we're done with that, we're going to remove the pin and secure it with some E6000 glue or whatever glue you have available that's a strong glue. So the final step is to glaze our charm. Glazing our charm not only adds shine to it, but it also protects the charm and locks in the colors. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Also, comment below what would you like me to create for you. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. You can always follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!